All right, can we talk about the Switch hardware now, Ship? Are we in the Switch Switch zone? Yeah, I mean, I could talk about Zelda all day. I know you could, but there's just so much going on with that game, and it's really hard to separate like separate Zelda from the Switch at this point. It, it's well, of course, it's a three hundred dollar tablet that plays nine games, and that's the best one by far. It's like twenty now. With all those Neo Geo games. Oh, well, damn. There goes my... I worked on that fucking catchphrase all week. Oh. Uh, So, everything that I said last week, all my concerns, I still have all those same concerns. Um, Just about, like, the durability of this console. And people were sending me, like, YouTube videos of people breaking them and doing their durability tests on them and, and all that stuff. Um... I, I don't I, I think it's gonna be an overtime issue with these things, particularly if you are taking those Joy Cons on and off the thing a lot. I, I think you might be okay if you're just keeping it as a tablet with those things attached at all times. Um simply because that, that limits the the number of cycles that it goes through. Well what's the problem? Um, it's get it just gets sheared off? Well, it's it's going to get a lot of bending and and plastic fatigue as, as you put those things in slightly off each time. Like you're not putting it in exactly in line every time, and then and it then, won't fit or won't stay in. No, it'll get wobbly. Oh, the the Joy Cons start to get wobbly, um, which then eventually, over time, then that plastic will will degrade and it'll. It'll bend or break off. Um, the like, because in addition to the going on and off of the of the tablet, you also have the fact that you're constantly putting torque on this thing when you're when you're using it. Because um, holding from the sides and supporting sure. it, you're yeah, you're you're rotating it around itself basically slightly, but over time. Plastic and metal, the plastic will fatigue. But um, they'll have a new unit out. They'll no, they're definitely because they're going to fix that antenna issue for one. Ugh. That's amazing that uh, that somebody's already just gone in there and put a copper wire in to make that antenna longer on the... Uh, well, they didn't have a dedicated antenna on the left Joy-Con. It's built into the, uh, to the, to the board. There's no actual antenna separate. Right. Wow. So okay. somebody went in there and, and soldered on a copper wire and that works better than the right Joy-Con now, which is... The right one had an, an, a little antenna in there? Yeah, it's got dedicated on the right one. Well, but, okay. Um, why would you do one, not the other? I mean, why would it not be necessary on... I, I really think they were under a crunch to get this thing but done. But they you know. figured out that they needed it for one of them. Why would you not? What's up with the left one that you wouldn't need that? People's left hands are slightly smaller. I mean, there's got to be a reason, right? No, <laughs> they're just like, eh, <laughs> they forgot. They screwed up. They, the reason is they screwed so they up. They just forgot. Oops, we forgot the left one. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah, the, so I haven't had that issue because I I have not played with my Joy-Cons like that. I'm strictly pro controller and not taking the Joy-Cons off of my Switch. Pro controller is nice. Pro controller is great. That, that's a nice feeling controller. It even has, like, I've been using my Amiibo now because <laughs> you... it, that's built into the pro controller as well. Oh, you rubbed the... What have you been doing with your Amiibo? Have you been doing it for the, uh, the whatchamacallit? So, the 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 Zelda, the Zelda ones, the yeah. Zelda. Yes, that's the only thing I've played on my Switch. Um, yeah, you any of the Zelda ones, which I have, I don't know, probably close to ten Zelda themed amiibo. Um, you stick them on there, and things fall out of the sky. Uh, every one of them like comes with a chest, and you can do this every day. Um, so in addition to the chest, things like meat will fall out of the sky or fish or any kind of different ingredients. Um, you get different outfits in the chest. You get, uh, one of the figures gives you, uh, Epona as one of the, uh, the horses, uh, which she's a pretty powerful horse in the game. She's got max stats. It looks like. So I don't know. You could put the wolf version on there and the wolf, uh, 
comes and fights by your side. It's nice. It, Finally, yeah. Amiibo is delivering. Right. It's it's useful. Um, yeah, the Pro Controller is, I think, a, a great controller. I, I think that's... That, I mean, the one on the Wii U was not bad either. And this is very much in that same line, but this one's this one's a little bit better. How do you feel uh, using the Joy-Cons while they're attached to the tablet? I I, I think it's okay. Um, I it's the best feeling portable esque um, console. I mean, everything is properly sized. And it doesn't it doesn't feel as flat as what the Wii U controller did, the gamepad. Okay. Um I still I'm very like I I I the way I hold it, I, I'm very cautious still because I don't want to like forget that I could break these things off or damage it by like holding it in like somebody comes and knocks it or something. I'm more concerned that my wrists are in a improper position when I'm playing it. I don't care about bending the fucking joy cons. I'm worried about bending my wrists awkwardly while I, while I hold it. It seems you have to really pay attention because it's not, it's not perfectly ergonomic. No, uh, by a it's, long it's shot. It's not, but it, it's, I, I don't, my hands don't get uncomfortable when I play it. I brought it with me on the train into the city and I played Zelda on it. I don't know. It was, it was okay. I, I, it's, it's pretty nerdy, especially with the blue and red. Oh yeah. I mean, there's no getting around that. Especially if you have the colored one, it's like, Hey, look at me. I'm playing a, I got a joy, got a joysticks basically here. Do you have the colored one? Yeah. You have the neon one? I I do really like the colors actually, uh, sitting in my house. Mm-hmm. I don't. I think when I take it out of my house, it's a little too much. Look at me, but I do find the look quite pleasing of the colors. Anyway, the the rest of it is kind of boring looking. It just looks like a shitty Kindle. But uh, I don't know. My overall thoughts about the Switch are basically it's it's all going to come down to the games and how quickly they get them out. Just like Wombat said, it's been- I think it comes down to the price. More than anything, but we know the price already. You, you well, think? but I think, I think it's too expensive right now. It it's is definitely, too expensive. Right definitely. Now. I after having this thing in my house for a week, I, for the majority of the people, I don't know why that dock is included. I I think they threw everything at the like threw at the, everything at the wall with this thing. Like sold it as this at home away type of thing. I think the dock should be, if they're going to go with this configuration that they decided on, I think the dock should be a separate purchase. See, I I said all this before the thing came out. Remember? I know. I know you did. I've said, I said similar things to where I thought like they should have different versions of it for home and in a way, especially since Um, they think it's worth $90. Yeah. I, I just think, I think that's their bundling the connect in and Interesting. It's adding it's adding costs that doesn't doesn't necessarily need to be there. Yeah, it doesn't look. It, there's it's very difficult to look at the switch and say, "Hey, this is a good value right now." It's not to say it won't be at some point when either the price changes or the or the software library changes or the feature set changes. But right now, it's the tablet that is couldn't be any more limited. Basically, yes, it has a controller. But in terms of functionality, it couldn't really be any more bare bones. And same for as a video game console, it couldn't be any more bare bones. Like I, when I first got this thing, I was very excited, of course, and I had to take a shit, of course. So I grabbed it and pulled it into the bathroom with me and set it up. And then I'm like, all right, let me see what I can do, even though I don't have any games with it. And there's nothing. There's no apps. There's the, there's the news app which is just like a web page somewhere that it's loading of Nintendo. It's not bad. PR. For what it, for what it is, the news app is it it's, <laughs> it's a website love, somewhere. It's, it's a web loaded. yeah, but it works fine. It works fine. Like fine. it's like here is all the latest Nintendo games and news and trailers. Right. It and, it makes sense. Okay. It's it's snappy. Like it's it's snappier than like if you load up your 
PS4 or your Xbox One and want to go, hey, what's what's going on? What's all the new stuff? Well, it's not doing anything else. Well, I, I realize that. <laughs> There's nothing else on there. I, I think it's a positive. That news. Okay. What the news. Shipwreck loves the news app on, on, on the Switch. It, it's system it's breaking seller. news. System Shipwreck seller. loves the news. <laughs> system seller. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there's that, which is good, I guess. And the, the eShop, which is a fine eShop, I guess. I don't know. I was just, I was pretty underwhelmed by what was available on, on a $300 tablet. But I sure, do, I do. It's not ready. No, it's not ready. And I do agree that it is, the functionality is cool that it can, you can play on your TV or you can play on the go. And when we talked about the NX years ago and the rumors were coming out, this is basically what we asked for. You know, more basically, we just need the games. Because without the games, it doesn't really matter what this thing has, especially since it has no other fucking apps. You better get some... some... Well, I, I think that's why they kind of... I, I hope they didn't shoot themselves in the foot here with including that dock and, and pricing this so high. Because... If it was lower, then then more people would buy it. Then you would get the developers, like the major publishers, interested in making games for it. You're not going to get the same games you're getting on Xbox One and PS4. That's that's clear. No, um, you're not. But you would you would feel better that you're going to get some third party support. Right now, it's really hard for me to judge this thing, though, because I'm enjoying Zelda so much. Right, but that's, you can't to, be fooled by that. That's that's. I know. I need to. I need to finish Zelda and then see what it's like. Nothing. You're not going to do anything with it until play that Blaster Master game. Right. Nah, because you'll be playing Mass Effect by then. And your Can we switch Mass be... Effect. Is there any way to delay that? <laughs> right, please. And your switch is just going to collect dust. That's what's going to happen. I mean, as soon as you finish I, Zelda, hmm. that console is going to collect dust in your house until if you buy Mario, the new Mario Kart. I don't, I don't think it is. The Switch, especially What are you going to do have, with it? If you have kids and you, you want I'm to not play talking, something. I'm not talking about other people. I'm talking about you. What are you going to do with it when you finish Zelda? Oh, when I finish Zelda? Yes. I thought you were talking about with Zelda still. No. Um, I'm going to play that Blaster Master game. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, I, Mario Kart, I guess I'll buy that again. I'm supposed <laughs> to buy that again, right? That <laughs> Please the, understand. That's what's supposed to happen. Uh, are we done with the Switch? Did we have any other more th- any more thoughts for today? Shipwreck anything? Or I, do you want to table it? it we'll, we'll be talking about the Switch for a while here. So... I, I, I'm interested to see how the hardware holds up. I think they, I think Nintendo may have something with this. I, I think. I don't just, think it's going to be this device. Right. I th- no. I. Th- I think it's. It might be this device, but the next revision of it. Or I mean, revisions. I think they. They need to polish this idea some. Yeah, the idea is good. The execution could use. More time in the oven. Whether it's putting out a separate portable device or what, I don't. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. But I know that this at three hundred dollars isn't a great value. Plus, you know, once you add in the pro controller and a game, even yeah, without the card. pro controller, it's you know, it's a lot of money yeah. for a, a tablet that does really nothing but play a few games. And the screen protector in the carrying case. Yeah, what's up with the dock? automatically scratching your screen I'm scared to death aren't you like taking that thing in and out i'm doing it so slowly and gently fuck dude you know i let ty play it and you know i've started reading all this shit about the screen being scratched i'm like oh let me go look at my switch and i go to look at it it's not it's completely backwards in the dock it's not even oh, it's no. not it's not connected you know he didn't get it in the thing it's just backwards in the dock it, it didn't get scratched but i was like uh, of course of course it's backwards in the dock though i mean there's no way to know which right i don't know it's it's uh, yeah i like this at two hundred dollars as a tablet with a pro controller that's where my 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 
price point is for this. Without the like without the controllers on the side of it? Yeah, let me pay extra for that. Maybe I don't even want that. I mean, fuck, charge 80 bucks for it and sell it to people. I think a lot Get of people... Get the motion control stuff out of here. Yeah, maybe that's like, what's that... making them expensive. I don't know. Whoa. I don't think people are interested in that anymore. Uh, judging by my like my friends list, where everybody is playing Zelda and nothing else. Not one, two switch. Right. The reviews were pretty harsh on that one. Um, yeah, I'm telling you, I, two, don't you think at two hundred bucks with a pro controller? Th- that's I don't think they can get it that cheap. They sell know. they sell those Kindle Fires are like fifty bucks, hundred bucks. This is more powerful. Than All right, well. Fire. Two hundred bucks. Oh, it with without the Joy Cons on the sides of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The screen and the pro controller. Okay. Are we gonna get a power cord thrown in or no? <laughs> Does it connect to a TV or no? Yeah, but you just without, you know you do it like you know ghetto style with just the cable. You don't have a dock. That's what I mean. Just like one cable that plugs into a TV. Yeah, just like it. You I don't mean, have a dock. Right. You could pay extra for. If you want to pay us ninety dollars for the dock, you pay us ninety dollars for the dock that'll scratch your screen. No. You can do that. So it has all the same functionality as the other one. It's just the tablet and a controller. Yeah. I think that's a that's a good look. You know the markup on that fucking pro controller has got to be a lot. That's so you're, you're saying then you'd have to buy the the snap on Joy Con separately. Yes. Yeah. I don't, that's, I, that's the same same kind of thing I'm thinking. I think the yeah. I don't know. They they have to. I like the portability of it with the Joy Cons. So I see why. That's there, but I don't but, know. You're but, just assuming that more people are going to play it at home than on than traveling, which is we get back to the the my argument of have two different things that the games can get transfer between. I feel like at two hundred dollars, and you have the the separate you have the controller and the tablet. It still can be portable to people, at least as like something in your car. You know, you hang it on the back of the seat or whatever, or on an airplane with the stand. It's still a portable machine, even without the Joy Cons. And if you wanted to make it really portable or take it to the next level, you buy the Joy Cons separately. Yeah, and yeah, I think people would do that. A lot of people would do I'm that. Saying. Yeah, just make the barrier. Yeah, I to think entry they need to piecemeal it and not and and not bundle it the way that they did. Yeah, get people on board with the Switch platform. Obviously, the Switch is going to be a software platform. And when they make a dedicated portable device, you know, the OS will be the same and it'll just be a different form factor and, you know, maybe not connect to a TV or something. But, uh, yeah, I like the general concept of it though. I think just (laughs) they needed to think about it a little longer. Much, 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 much better than the Wii U. There you go. Put that on the box. Perfect. I don't think they're going to mention the Wii U anywhere in the box. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's some Switch questions. Uh, at Mike Autonomous. 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 What appealed to you about the Switch that wasn't already being met by the Vita and the 3DS? Well, no. We just bought it for the show. We've been talking about it on the show. Well, if Shipwreck didn't. He had to play Zelda. Yeah. Well, it has Zelda. Is that, the, <laughs> is that the answer? Well, no. It It's... If you compare it to the Vita and the 3DS, this is much more large. Like it, it's larger, <laughs> and it's got the, all the controls there. You're not. They didn't neuter a button somewhere on this, correct? Which is the case on all, all the other stuff. That is that is correct. Unless you pull off the Joy Cons and you're using the Joy Cons like as separate controllers, you know, with two people, then it gets pretty awkward. But okay, I understand you got to keep it a reasonable size. 